All right, so here's your basic uh, demonstration on how to add private channels in the Roku box. Um, here I am, I'm in the Roku, on the Roku screen, okay, and you're going to need two screens. Uh, so if you know how to use tabs, even better. Obviously, some of you do. Um, so what you're going to do first is um, you're going to sign into your Roku account, and then you're going to go into My Account. All right, and once you get into My Account, um, you can see right here, it says add a private channel, right? So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to be using that in conjunction with uh, private channels that people have set up already. Um, so, you know, basically you can go in and, and do a tab, search for uh, Roku private channel list. And I'll also post the link, but, um, and then let's see, here's a good one. Okay, so and then it's the Roku channel database, RokuChannels.com. As you can see, there's a bunch of them here, um, and they've got all the different. You know, it's basically a little spreadsheet kind of. It's got channel type, code. This is the real important one. We're gonna need is the code. Um, this the rest of these give your basic channel descriptions. Um, <clears throat> so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look through these. You know, find something that is interesting to you, something you want to see, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, and you're basically going to use that code, you're going to paste whatever code that is into this section under add a private channel. So uh, let's just say, um, let's just find one here. Um, one that has a thing. Now, I, and I will let you know, some of these, this isn't an up, not necessarily an up-to-date list. Um, these things change constantly based on what Roku lets people put up there, uh, you know, versus, you know, stuff that if they posting stuff that people uh, have objection to, like maybe, maybe uh, you know, like Fox News channels and stuff, then those will come down. Also, um, you know, there's stuff that uh, that gets old or people don't update it, and so those get taken down. So, I mean, it's kind of a hit and miss kind of thing at this point. Um, I mean, this is still basically a new technology in its infancy. It's only been around, you know, five, ten years. Not even ten, I wouldn't say. Probably about seven or eight years, maybe. Uh, and so it's making some serious strides and headway, but it's still in its infancy. So anyway, um, I don't know what this Anomalies TV is, but we're going to use it as a code because I know I've never put it in. So basically, you're going to just highlight the code, copy, go into your Roku account, add private channel. Um, you're going to paste that code in there, click Add Channel, and it's going to ask you, yes, do you want to do it, yes or no, you click Yes, Add Channel, and it's going to tell you that it's going to take, that uh, it will show up within 24 hours. It's been my experience that it shows up a lot faster than 24 hours. Uh, basically what you can do is you can go into your channel, uh, you know, the channel list uh, on the Roku box itself, go into that, and if you back right out, it'll update what channels are added. And so that I means it'll be right there. So, I mean, that was it. You can see how basically easy that was to add that channel. I mean, all it takes is the right information. I just clicked back to go back, and I can do it as many times as I want with as many different channels as I want. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to find anything, you know. Um, so, I mean, look through this, find stuff that you're interested in. You can do it. Here's one. What does that say? Christian music video that doesn't have a code. If it doesn't have a code, then. You know, obviously you can't do it because it does require code. Uh, some of these have already been developed into full full on sites, like this Democracy Now one. Um, I, I've noticed that that one's on the channel list, so that's already there. So that's what I'm saying. A lot of these, um, some maybe still be there, some may not still be there. Um, Flick, Flick Stream TV. Let's try that. I don't think I've added that. So click Add Private Channel. I'm gonna paste it in there. Aha, here we go. This one is no longer associated with the channel. So um, they either change the code or it just it's no longer there. So um, that's a good one to, I mean, a good example of what can be, you know, what kind of error message you might get. France 24, I don't know why in the world I want to watch it, but you may. I've watched crazier things, I'm sure. So again, paste it right in, click Add Channel. And <laughs> again, with the, it's not a channel anymore. Um,
I don't know. I think you get the idea. Um, and, and like I said, again, this is a, a, a brand new technology. So it's definitely got its bumps and hiccups. And um, like there used to be uh, YouTube uh, on Roku made by, you know, somebody added it as a private channel. Well, YouTube wants to develop, develop their own channel for it. So they took that site down, so now it's no longer up until uh, it gets added back up. So uh, that this is kind of an example of what can be done. But I mean, the channel list in your Roku box is a great place to check. I've noticed that they're constantly updating stuff. Um, all right, so that's how to add a private channel in the Roku box. Uh, okay, bye.